is your petition, my son. Highness, I shall be speaking to the congregation again tomorrow. I want them to be submissive. Same way I am submissive to you. I want them to obey my orders. And all the teachings I shall give. That is my petition. Lord, you can soon. You are being a good son. Your petition is granted. I bow to you very much. So tell me, has there been any improvement in seed sowing and getting off? Not quite, sir. Well, although the turnout from the last Sunday service was quite encouraging, but we are still unable to raise 20,000 naira. As bad as that? Honestly, sir. Could you believe that the total money we realized from last Sunday service is just 18,000 naira? And that includes the, um, the tithe, offering, and seed sowing. I mean, everything. This is incredible. See, that's why I've always cancelled that any man of God who dwells more on salvation than prosperity will not do good. No. Pastor Benjamin, you have to change your style of preaching. You have to dwell more on prosperity than salvation. And you see a great change. Really? Do you, do you mean that? Of course. Preaching salvation over prosperity attracts less attention. But preaching prosperity over salvation gives you people's attention. I've tried it and it's worked. You tried. Uh, wow. Uh, but please, Pastor. Do you mean that the preaching of prosperity is more important than salvation? Which is, of course, is our main goal of uh, our faith. And, I mean, why should we even give such priority over salvation? Uh, you see, you're still new in the faith, so you will not understand. But whatever grasps people's attention is what you give to them. Anyway, why I ask you to come over to the house is I want you to accompany me to go and pay for that land, and then sign the necessary documents. Wow, that's great. The money came quick. Mm -hmm. I mean, how did it happen? Well, to God be the glory. After last Sunday's uh, service, some brethren gave some money and offerings, especially the sticker. A loan attracted 500,000 naira. 500? I tell you. Wait. You mean you sell stickers in church? Of course. We print them with money, so why won't we sell them? And it gives protection against burglary, car theft, and so on. And that's it. Wait. Does it really work? Pastor Benjamin, oh, ye man of little faith. Whatever you believe works for you. Even our Lord Jesus Christ, the one we are Christian after, said it. If you believe, only if you believe. And that's the key thing here. And as they believe, it works for them. That's true. You have a point there, Pastor. Well, just tag along with me. As my son in this ministry, we have a long way to go. John, get uh, some more glasses and uh, some the drink. Gentlemen, while we work for a drink, I have good news for you. Okay. Pastor Benjamin and I have just come back from the land vendor. Uh, we have procured the land for a new site. Wow. In fact, we have paid 16 million naira. Wow. 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 An outstanding <laughs> amount of 4 million naira. And that's, I think, is good I'm news. Wow. wow. That's, that's great news. That's good. Thank God for his provision. Wonderful news. Yeah, it 
It is. As a unit. It is. It is. And I tell you, even though we still have an astounding of 4 million naira to complete with 20 million naira, I agreed. But at least we've been able to pay the greater percentage, which means we have uh, land as ours. As ours. <laughs> uh, you, you, you know what, sir? Don't worry yourself. God willing, we will do everything humanly possible to make sure we come up with the outstanding 4 million naira. God willing. That's very obvious. That's very obvious. We'll raise the money. Uh, we will raise the we'll money. Raise I like the courage both of you are giving me. In fact, you are spicing me up. And I, I, I'm so happy. Well, this is the people that uh, believe in us and they are members of our commission. Uh, we will raise money through them. We don't need to do a launching and call outsiders. You know, that's the calling God has given us. We will raise this money in house and I believe we can do it. Yeah, of course. Of course. That's so, true, Pastor. You know, I mean, the people have to make sacrifices for the blessings that they receive. I mean, nothing goes for nothing. Though the gospel is free, but uh, you still have to pay for your Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like I'm telling it. you. It's, 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 as that. it's good to make sacrifices. Especially when God blesses them, they should come back and show appreciation. No, That's the thing is this. You do not wait until God blesses you. No. Otherwise, the blessing will disappear. You believe in God, have faith, and he will do his own. You do your own. So don't wait for the Lord to bless you. Uh, it's true. It happens. Even in my own church. Really? Uh, yeah, of course. And like our people say, whenever you climb the Iroko tree, that is a singular opportunity to carry all the wood you can. Because you don't climb the Iroko tree every day. Of mm. 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 Wisdom. Well, that's a word of wisdom right. comes from there. <laughs> so we need to compel our members to make provisions to build for the Lord. Exactly. Because so, blessed is the hands that give than the, the one ones that receive. <laughs> so brethren, uh, keep on praying fervently for this ministry. We all grow together. We will all sustain it. It's our own ministry. <coughs> it's not just me. As long as you stay with me, is our ministry. We share the proceeds and make ourselves happy. If you believe in that, say amen. 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 Use the scripture quotation I gave you to say the prayers. Ask God to remove every spirit that has stopped your business from moving forward. While praying this prayer for one week, you'll fast from 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. You break your fast, your business will move. But this is the same prayer you gave to me the last time I came here. My daughter, the Spirit of God tells me to intensify. It's not my word. Okay? Just do exactly what the Spirit is leading me to tell you. And your business will move forward. Okay? Thank you, Pastor. Okay, there we are. Okay, I'm going now. Thank you. Call the next person. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, Sister Marachi. Uh, Marachi, welcome, man. Yes, Pastor. That's your name. Exactly. And you have uh, issues with work. Exactly. Pastor, I lost the job December last year, and I have not been able to get another job since then. I have submitted my CV to different companies. I have attended a series of interviews, but none have considered me for any employment. That's why I came to see you for spiritual assistance. Beautiful girl like you has no reason to be unemployed. It is the moment spirit to follow you all around. Yes. Near success syndrome. Lack of success in everything. But I will fight that spirit to the end. To prove to that spirit that there are still men of God who speak into people's lives. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 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 Th
The Spirit tells me that you will work in this ministry. In fact, to be more specific, that I should employ you as my personal assistant. Yes. Pastor, I will really appreciate that. Look for work no more. I would love to work with you, sir. <laughs> Pastor. You're employed. Thank you, Jesus. Give Pastor, me. thank you. I'm going thank to give you my personal number. Okay. Put your number here. Yes, You'll come and see me tomorrow evening in my house. Yes, Consider yourself employed. That's what it tells me. Spirit tells me. I will be there, sir. Very good. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't. My spirit tells me and leads me that I should give you a transport money. So these two thousand is a transport. Hey. God bless you, son. No, it's okay. I'm doing just what the spirit of God tells me. God, thank you. God, thank you. All right. So you see me tomorrow morning in my house. I will be there, sir. Okay. I love her. I will be there. Thank you. It's good to have you here. Thank you, Pastor. So, welcome to my house. Let's sit down. Thank you. I like your smile. Beautiful house, right? Beautiful. Got taste. You sure do. Thank you. Welcome. Why don't you come over here, sit with me, let's enjoy some, some wine. Huh? Come on, don't be shy. John, get me a glass of wine. Okay. This. It should be fun. Uh, so we can drink together. John, get me a glass. Thank you. Good guy. Thank you. There you go. Thank you, Pastor. Welcome to my house once again. Thank you. So. Anything you want to chew or to eat, whatever it is, ask for it. John will make it available. <laughs> Thank you. Let me drink first. Good. So, tell me, how's everything going? I am fine. You asked me to come. Yes. That's why I'm here. Ordinarily, I don't go out in the evening. I like staying at home. Good habit. I must commend you for that. You. <laughs> You're my kind of girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Hello, Steve. Yes. You forgot your passport with me? Oh. Okay, let me check my bag. I will uh, call you back. Let me check out something in the back and uh, I will be right back. Just enjoy yourself, relax, okay? I'm all yours tonight, okay? And time ministers, and time prophets, that is what they are. And time prophets, and time ministers. Supposing you have thoughts about Caesar's life. I've told you now, my wife is in a Bible college. She's not around. Even at that, I still do not feel comfortable about this. You know, anything can happen when you least expect. You see? Okay, okay. After today, next time I'll take you to the hotel. That's it. Later. You also said I will work as your personal assistant. That's, that's the only way we can cover anything. So you go with me to social events, okay. everywhere I am. That way you can be with me all on the block and nobody will think anything. You're my PA, you're my PA, and that's it. Nice. 
I promise I will not disappoint you. I bet you will be impressed when I start working. Start impressing me now with your actions and that's it. But I have already. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> It's not even about the police presence that matters. Are they doing their job? Oh, eh? Do you know that we crossed three checkpoints? They could not even intercept us. At least do their normal routine checkup. If they had done that, I would have violated them. But nothing happened. And there was ammunition around me. I can't, I can't say anything. The issue is corruption. Everywhere is stinkingly corrupt. Everywhere, including those security men. Though, though, not not all of them. Not all of them. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, Mike, I agree with you on that. See, despite there are a lot of corrupt elements in the system, there are still good ones among them. Yes, there are still good ones. But uh, what I'm saying is that the incident. Car theft this period is becoming worrisome. Everywhere snatching castles. But though I don't have a problem with my own, because I am spiritually insured. Nobody can touch what belongs to me. How do you mean? <laughs> my trusty cars now. <laughs> I place them in my doors, in my cars, everywhere. See, these tickets keeps enemy away from my house, from my properties. They don't dare come close to what I what I own. Eh? Uh, I'm telling you. Uh, Martin, Martin, uh, uh, Roland knows about it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, he actually told me about it. You know, because of my tight schedule, mm. I've not been chance to go and get my own sticker. You should, you should come. No, I, will. I will. You should see testimonies. The church, everybody donating money, one million, three hundred thousand, five hundred thousand. Oh, you should see. They are doing well. Like, if, if they are not doing well, will they give? <laughs> Certainly not. <laughs> they won't. But you see, <laughs> the manner of their giving suggests that they are really making it. Yes. That is why I am inviting the both of you. See, use me as an example. Just attend the church. And all your stories, all these stories, will be a thing of the past. Sure, definitely. This Sunday, I will. So, how are we preparing for tomorrow's service? I hope we are sending out test messages and inviting new people to come. We are doing that, sir. And uh, we are hopeful that by tomorrow, our church auditorium will fill to its capacity with both uh, our members and invited guests in attendance. You share the same view? Of course, sir. You know, tomorrow's service will be spirit-filled and mm -hmm. wonderful because we talked to many people and from their responses, they will worship with us tomorrow. 
Yes. Amen. Yes. That's good to hear. Um, I just hope that um, you know that as a young man, you need to walk as if your blood is purging very high. But on that note, I wish to also commend both of you for job well done. Thank you. But you cannot rest on your oars until the dream is realized. Yes, sir. All right? Yes. So we need money to run the church successfully. I mean, we cannot be operating on this rented property. We must develop that land, and we need money to buy that land finally, and then put a structure there as our own place of worship. It is doable. Of course, sir. By the special grace of God, we will actualize that dream. You know, tomorrow, I am very sure, I'm very certain that we will make a whole lot of money. <laughs> and we will win more yes. souls for Christ as well. Yes. yes. We we'll make a lot of money, win souls, but are very important. Mm. Huh? Mm. So, you need to get down to work. All right? Yes. We, we need you to make money, you make money, I make money, all to the glory of God. But we cannot sit and the money will just come. That reminds me. Um, go to the printers and make sure they give you that sticker. Come to church with it tomorrow. Okay, sir. Hmm? I've had good news, testimony from people that that sticker is fulfilling uh, what God has proposed in their lives. The okay. will of God is coming to reality in their lives. So we need to print more. Mm -hmm. And the more stickers we sell, the more money for the church. And that's it. So to God be the glory, everything will come along fine. Amen. 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 All right. All right. All right. Let's share a word of prayer. Our Lord and our Father, we thank you. Uh, it was Mazi Ejidike who broke the news to me yesterday. I didn't know such a thing happened until she informed me and said that he has come to sympathize with you. Yes, he, he was here. He was here. I even asked after you. But he said he didn't see you when he was coming. Uh, but his, uh, one thing for sure he told me is that he wasn't sure if you heard about it. No, I didn't hear anything. Until he came back and uh, brought the news to me. Mm. That's okay. That is why I'm also here to sympathize with you as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. I thank God that um, no life was lost. And I also want to thank you very much for traveling all the way from the village mm. to be here, yeah. disregarding your tight schedules. My soul. Thank you for seeing me as an important person thank yeah, you. to you. But um, <clears throat> the only challenge here is that I've been going through one problem or the other recent times. You know, even the loss of the car is one of them. But one thing for sure is that God is greater than whatever could be. Yes. I believe that. And I also believe that uh, uh, everything that you have lost must be restored. Amen. And more blessings will follow as well. Amen. Thank you very much. Where is this in there? She did not come to uh, greet me. Oh, yes. Um, she went to the market to buy some food items. Mm. Mm. But certainly she will she'll get here before you leave. Oh, the mm. oh, hey. name that's sorry again. I would not as you can. Let me give you cola. All hail Yokozuna. now. All hail the master of wealth. All hail his majesty the king of prosperity. All hail the Grand Master of Prosperity. Your humble servant is here, asking you to appear in your usual thunder and lightning. Here, your servant, sir. Here I am, my son. Tell me the desire of your heart that you want me to do for you, and I will grant it. Thank you, Your Highness, Lord Yakazuna. 
the servant will be appearing before the congregation tomorrow. I want you to cause everyone who is attending the service to be submissive to whatever I shall preach. Let them only realize they have given beyond their expectations when they leave the church. And for those who are attending for the very first time, let them under the sound of my voice give, even when they didn't plan to. That is my appeal, Lord Yukazuna. Grant them. Go forth and speak to them. Whatever you say to them, they will do it. Go. I bow before Lord Yukazuna. Thank you always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for submission, Lord, because you are not this one. church today? Yes. Let me hear it from your voice. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, um, I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy to be in the presence of you, brethren. Today, I'll be speaking on a very important topic, the secret of breakthrough. If your hands are not too busy, may I ask all of us to turn our Bibles to the book of Acts of the Apostles chapter 20, verse 35. For those of us who are not used to reading their Bibles, Acts of the Apostles is in the New Testament. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 20. Chapter 20, verse 35. 20, verse 35. Are you there? Yes. Are we there? Yes, sir. All right, I will read. I have shown you in all things that by working hard in this way, we must help the weak. Remembering the words that the Lord Jesus Christ himself said, there is more happiness in giving than in receiving. receiving. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's more happiness in giving than receiving. 
In fact, it should be a second nature to you when you give, when you help the weak, help the poor, help the oppressed. You should be happy that God has prospered you because if you're from a community, I'm from a little village, about 20,000. And in that little village, God singles you out and gives you a very big space by which you control millions. And your other brothers and sisters in the same community do not have that opportunity of having millions. You should make sure that nobody goes to sleep in your village hungry. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you give to that little child who wants to go to school, God loves it. When you give to that old woman whose sons or daughters have abandoned, God loves it. That means you are living the life of a Christian. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May we also go to um, Luke's, Luke chapter uh, 6, verse 38. Luke chapter 6, verse 38. Yes. If you are there, say amen. Yes. If you are there, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give to others and God will give to you. Indeed, you receive a full measure, a generous help poured into your hands all that you can hold. The measure you use for others, the Lord God will use for you. For you. Amen. 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 Amen. Brethren, what uh, we have just uh, laid emphasis today is giving. And uh, it is obvious that if you give, you receive. That's the only secret. For those of you here who are Akagom, Aradites, of course you will laugh, but the thing is, immediately you close your hands. Nothing can come out. It's practical. Close your hands. That's it. Release it and something comes out. It's just like when you want to shake hands with somebody and your hands are in your pocket. You cannot. You have to bring out your hand from your pocket to greet somebody. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. All right, brethren. Um, I'm happy to announce to you that the church has made a down payment of that land we have proposed to buy. I think that's good news. Yes. We shall no longer be in a rented property. Yes. We will now be moving to our site. Yes. Like they will say, the, our church is mo moving to the permanent site. Yes. But the, there's a um, thing is that the land vendor, uh, we're in, in agreement with the land vendor, um, but he gives us this Friday to raise, uh, today is uh, Monday, he gives us, uh, today is Sunday, by this Friday, uh, we'll be completing the payment. But I expect that, uh, brethren, God will bless you in the course of the week, and whatever promise you make to the church will be fulfilled. So I will um, ask as the Spirit leads me, God has asked me to do something special for this need. Ten people, only ten people, to raise the balance of this, what we need to pay for this land. I need only ten people. I won't take eleven. Not even 10.99. Only for 10 people, only for 10. The 10 should save in the office. One. It's to me. Hallelujah. Chapter close, chapter close, chapter close, chapter close. It's, um, it is done. And as the Spirit leads me, I will not take for now, I'm 11 person. I will not take, because in the, this, in the kingdom, you don't go beyond what the Spirit directs you, amen? amen. I also want to use this opportunity to inform all of you that Brother Friday, we all know him, he's a lover of God, he's lying critically ill at the hospital, he needs mostly our prayers, and again, he needs financial assistance. Um, as a well-committed member of this church, 
um, he needs uh, all the support he can get. Uh, the church, as a matter of concern, has already opened a bank account where we can give in our might. And I want to say on this note that um, please don't hold back. It could have been anybody. Um, Pastor Michael uh, is in charge. Meet him after the service to give you the account number so you can pay into that account. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Let's stretch our hands and pray for those who have uh, given today. Um, and for those who haven't given, we will pray for you that the Lord will give you and you have to give. Amen? Amen. Please stretch out your hands. Let's bless those who have uh, given this 500,000. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our Father, we thank you for your beloved daughters and sons. I am a Jesus is my friend. Brethren, I am not happy with the number of souls won in the last three months. It is not encouraging. At this rate, we cannot execute all the projects we have outlined. We need to raise money with new souls. Get working. This is not how a ministry is run. Uh, oh, sir, I believe we are doing our best. Because uh, it's not easy to retain the souls won. Some of them will come to the church for like two to three Sundays and they will just leave. My friend, you are seeing negatives. Stop seeing negativities. See positives, positivity. See it. Those who want to stay will stay. Those who want to leave will leave. Let us have a situation where those who stay have no those who stay. And that's it. Excuse me, sir. Yes, Rosemary. So that woman you asked to wait for in the reception, say that she should remind you she's still with you. Oh, oh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Is she a member of our church? Yes, Pastor. She's a new member. Her name is Linda. Ask her to come. So, I don't want to hear those words. Confess positively. She not bother us, those who have left. Our concern is those who are here with us. Let's have new members, and that's where we can derive our joy. Yes, madam. Please, uh, my apologies. I forgot you were waiting. Uh, what can I do for you? Pastor, please. I want you to pray for my son. He is very sick. He's been shivering up for me 10 days. He has just been admitted in the hospital. Please. For how long has this been happening? Last night, sir. Um, okay. You will have to sow a seed of faith. I'll pray for your son and he'll get well. Pastor, please. I don't have any money with me right now. And the little money I had, I had to deposit it in the hospital for his treatment. What can I do? I don't know. But uh, the spirit leads me that you should sell something of value, bring the money, uh, bring your seed. Sow it as a seed, and I'll pray for your son, and he'll get well. Okay, thank you very much, Pastor. Let me just go and see what I can do. I'll probably come back. Please. Thank you. Many are called, you are chosen. With all due respect, sir, was she bring money before prayer is offered for her sick son? I didn't ask her to bring money. I asked her to sow a seed. See, 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 is a higher level. Money is physical. Is it see? See, 
He gave us some medicine, one for this evening and one for tomorrow morning. And Oscar got himself. You know, I was afraid. I thought it was a serious thing. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, God, for always being there for me and my family. And my baby. So, Obi, tell me, did you see the pastor? Yes, so we, I saw the pastor. He said that I have to sow seed before he would pray for our son, Oscar. And you know, I didn't have any money with me. So I had to come back home to see what I can do. So I had to pick all this thing. I wanted to go and look for buyer. So I can raise some money to go and sow his seed so that he can pray for our son, Oscar. Before I saw you people coming back. Obim. So the pastor said you sow a seed before he prayed for my sick son. That was what he said. Ah, what is this world turning into? The world is becoming churchy and the church becoming worldly. Ah. Thank God and my goodness. I pray for this generation. I just came to tell you about my visit to the prayer house. Well, how did it? How did it go? I met her in our office this morning and explained everything to her. But it's the same story. <laughs> what story? She gave me five days fasting and prayer. Oh, that's nice. Five thousand and for each day. Total amount of twenty five thousand. Wait, what? What are you saying? The money is for what? For the prayer, of course. She says she will back me up in the five days prayer, but I have to pay for it. Does it mean that we don't require a blessing from God without paying for it? Is that what they are trying to make us believe? My sister, I can't understand it. It's everywhere you go. You have to give in order to receive. Jesus Christ. Yes. I like giving. I mean, it's a personal thing. It's good to give. But. Pastors making you to give when you're not willing to give. I mean, it's not right. It should be a free spirit something. It shouldn't be under compulsion. Like, they're not encouraging people to go to church. Like, what is this? Church is not a business place. Every day pledge, every day pay, every day so we save. All right, Sophia, you're welcome. Please um, have a seat. <laughs> James. I must confess, you look elegantly beautiful. Uh, this sleeve is really looking good on you. Tell me, when are you resuming? On Monday. 
Oh. I will definitely be in the office on Monday. Oh, that's nice. Have you redeemed um, your pledge for a special blessing? Yes, I've done that. I made a transfer to the church's account. So the pastor has confirmed the payment. Oh, that's nice. I'm, I'm just coming out from his office, so I decided to stop by and see you. And according to him, he said five other persons have redeemed their pledges. Wow, five other persons. Yes. People are so quick to respond. I mean, what's the secret? Honestly. And uh, that's because they are desirous of the special blessing. Oh, Everybody that. needs it. Okay. So that's why I, I didn't want to waste time to redeem my own pledge. Because God has already made the resources available. You must give in order to receive. That's true. That's the secret. That's, true. that's the secret. And that's why it's good to give bountifully, especially to the work of God. And once you give, you know, to enhance the work of God in His vineyard, you must definitely receive surprises upon surprises upon surprises and bountiful blessings. Yes. Unfailingly, tomorrow morning, I'll make sure I redeem my pledge oh james yeah that's nice anyways you can that's, say that again that's great okay so it is good like we said to support the work of god yeah, yeah. in the house of the lord that's true and there's these blessings that follows and this time around it will be blessings Upon blessings, upon blessings. You can say that again. You can say that again. Yes. We have signed all the documents. Um, very shortly, uh, we will start the uh, development of the land. Signed, sealed, delivered. And we've taken our uh, copies of our own. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for your cooperation too. That's, that'd be good, that'd be good. I'll be waiting. Thank you, remain blessed. Thank you. Good afternoon, Pastor. Good afternoon. Um, what's the name again? Damien. Yes, sir. Good, what can I do for you? Uh, I came to give my own money for the special blessing. I was not in service last Sunday. My colleague who attended told me about it. Okay. Um, well, we, as the Holy Spirit directed, we should take uh, seed from 10 people for special blessings. And the 10 people who have made their pledges have already done it. So I can't go ahead and get into this. Uh, well, Daddy, I really believe you can, you can assist me on this and speak with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Okay. Tell the driver to get set. We're, we're leaving now. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I can promise you one. But um, if there's a counter instruction to that effect, you can drop it. I can promise you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. How many people are still waiting to see me? Five people, sir. Five. Okay. Let the next person come. All right, sir. Businessman. That's good. How did you come to know about our ministry? Okay, um, it's a friend of mine, Mike Okorondo. He's a member of your church. 
Mm-hmm. In fact, we were together at uh, the Sunday service. And he advised I should come and see you today for counseling. Okay. So, how may I help you? Okay. Um, I, I came to seek for solutions to my problem. And um, things were going on well. Until recent times, I couldn't just understand my business anymore. In fact, I started developing, I mean, encountering a lot of problems. And as if things were not enough, I lost one of my cars to some armed men two weeks ago. It's quite strange. Very serious matter. That is the enemy. That is an attack by the enemy. But as long as you have stepped your feet into this arena of liberty, it's all over. Amen. We worship a living God. Amen. And you don't even need to pray about it. I tell you. All you need to do is challenge God with a good seed and he will fight your battles. Exodus 14, 14. He will fight your battles and you will have your peace. So, my brother, sow your seed and you give your testimony. I'll do that, sir. I'll do that, sir. Those who have worshipped in this commission can lay credence to testimonies that are shared here and there. It's God, not us. So prepare to share your testimony. Amen. You can go. Simple. It's done. Many are called Thank you very much. Okay, um, okay, one more thing, sir, is I came to seek for um, the sticker for protection against burglary. I actually asked for some, but they said it's finished. That tells you how effective that sticker is. You put it in your house, your office, your car, no burglary. Because God's hand is on this commission. But unfortunately, because of the high demand, we don't have it now. But shortly, we will uh, have, it, have it again. It's not just about the printing of the sticker. It's about the power it evokes. The power in it. So, I can't wait to have it. Sir. You will have it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but please, sir, uh, please don't be offended. I, I'm so delighted to see you once more. Yes, just about this place. Very good. May the Lord bless you. May the bless your seat. In Jesus' name. It is done. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Did you go see that our boss? Yes, I did. I went to his office last night. I gave him a check of five hundred thousand. Yes, that's it. What? He collected money from you? Even after saying that the Holy Spirit instructed him to take from only ten persons? Kato, forget about that now. It is bygone. Guys, guys, don't mind that fake pastor. I told you, that man is fake. But you won't believe it. I, mean, no. I don't believe that. I don't believe he's fake. Seriously, what is so fake about him? He preached about prosperity, I wish it's normal. Who doesn't like money? Eh? And besides, that man is a guy, man. He carries everyone along. No. Guy man indeed. Guy man pastor. I believe we should all go to him. Especially now we have a huge assignment coming our way. And I will. Know. I suggest you follow us. Join us on this thing. Muda, back where? Back where? Use hypo. Wash your face. Make you PC frogs. Be honest with me. I will never do that. I will rather give my money to the Eze Kudele than to give it to that robber who I know that he has nothing to offer when it comes to school. Mm -hmm. Make I tell you, it is only those that understand the beating of each jury that will dance to the tune of the queen. I don't believe that the man has nothing to offer. Okay? Because he has always made it clear to us that the magnitude of your blessing is directly proportional to the mass of the seed you bring. Yes, he has already said it that the kind of seed you bring and the size of your seed will determine the flow and the increase of your blessings. 
Matthew's professional. Oh, bro, that is for Matthew 666. Fan for your fan. But let me let you know this. Any anointing which money determines how it flows, that anointing is babash. Whether it is fake or not, that shouldn't be our business. Okay? And moreover, I believe in whatsoever a man thinks that he can do to survive, let him do it. Just take a good look at us here. We are graduates. What are we doing? We are doing this simply because we want to survive. Well, that is true. But for me, I will look sharp sharp. I will look Mugumba. I'd rather carry a gun than to put on a garment of a priest to rob people or go and do people with prayer. I can't do that. I can't try such. Um, guys, by the way, when do we say we're going to see the physical delivery for the next operation? Mm hmm. That is what she'll be talking about. All this noise and argument. Uh, by next week, Friday. Next Friday. I believe on spiritual. Because the spiritual control the physical. I believe. You haven't said how much you give you. Well, I can't tell you how much I'm going to give you until I know how much you spend into that account. You yeah, mean you do not know the amount deposited into the account? I can't lie to you, madam. How come Pastor Michael knows? I don't understand it. Did he tell you how much was in the account? Chris visited him yesterday, and I overheard him telling Chris that over two million naira has been deposited into the account. Jesus. What? No, I think they are mistaking it for the church's account and not for Friday's medical treatment. So that's a mistake. Yes. The carpenter is demanding for his balance. How much is the balance? It's 10,000. Go on, tell the cashier. Okay. Call me, I'll give you instructions. Okay. Okay, now um, you go back to your office and we'll send for the shop. by the church in support of Brother Friday's medical treatment. I don't understand. You don't understand? Did you tell anybody the balance left in the account? Yes, I did. Uh, Brother Chris asked uh, for the amount. I told him it was 2.6 million. He told him what? I took you in strict confidence. How can you just talk anyhow you like? What kind of person are you? Don't you understand? I'm sorry, sir. You're sorry? Huh? Can't you use your head? Sir, Brother Chris is Friday's elder brother. Wasn't he supposed to know? Don't ask me that stupid question. Huh? Now you go back. Tell them you made a mistake that it was a church's account you gave them and not Brother Friday's medical treatment. Sir, he would misunderstand. I might read meaning into it. I don't care. You can't be ruining my efforts. I have to work for people. The most amount they can get from that transaction is 500,000 uh, naira. Sir, sir, that's too poor. Considering the, the nature of treatment but that Friday will be undergoing, giving him less might lead to his death, sir. Are you praying for that? No, no, sir. Then go and tell them you made a mistake. Rectify your mistake. Yes, Pastor. I am the general overseer of this commission. 
I'm led by the Holy Spirit in whatever I do. Many are called, few are chosen. So after many physical. Pastor Douglas, many are called, few are chosen. You must be born again. Be careful the kind of places you go for prayers. Be careful where you go for delivery. The figure they gave you is the church account, not the one in Brother Friday's medical treatment. That was a mistake. And I haven't checked the account. Uh, we have about uh, 550,000 naira in it. 550,000 naira. Yes. And I will make a transfer to that effect and uh, wait for other things to come in. Okay. Maybe I uh, will call in probably in two weeks' time to know how far. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, so. Yes. And definitely more things will come in. But from now on, please. Anytime you want to know what is in account, deal with me directly. I am the general overseer of this ministry. I oversee everything. So let's right. avoid speculation and misinformation in the house of God. That's all right, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. I've transferred it now. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Thank okay. you. Have a nice day, sir. You also. Young men, what brings you to my shrine? No, you should be. We want you to help us prepare a charm that could protect our bodies from bullet penetration when attacked with God. Fortify you with Ode sheep. Exactly, that's what we want. It is only the ego amongst other. Beds that can fly, soar up to the highest heights. There is no other place that this your case can be handled better than this. My shrine is a good day. The only wise one that traveled through the Red Sea of no return burst out in the inner chamber of Odum where blood flows like rain. That is the major reason why we come to see you. You have done well. How go and find the roots and herbs and start the preparation for this new job. You will now go and come back. In five days' time, that will be the work market day. The major ingredients for this job will be sourced and obtained. Major ingredient is a good one. Can you please tell us what this major ingredient is? I will tell you when you come back. Is it good? Enough? It is alright. We shall be ready. I mean, we shall be ready to do whatever you ask us to do. Thank you so much. You've done well. 
We are grateful, Mosudolo. But you haven't told us how much this is going to cost us. But you're not a new customer. I believe that you know what you will do when this is done. But right now, drop whatever you have to enable me to prepare the herbs. You have no worry. Thank you, Esude. We shall be on our way now to return on the appointed day. That's all right. Take care. It's a good day. What is suffering? to tell me that you're going to explain all these things to him. Telling him that we need 1.3 million for our travel plans and the kidney transplants and all the kidney was 100,000. Yes, sir. That's all he did. You're aware about the 500,000 I gave him at first. And he said there was an outstanding balance of 50,000. Then he now had his own support, which sums up to be 100,000. What are you even saying? I still can't believe that it's just 550,000 man. I mean, Brother Jude and Brother Nicholas, they came here yesterday and they prayed for me. And they paid the sum of 500,000 naira each to my account. Huh? I'm telling you, bro, these guys will not lie to me. I know these guys. Well, what do we do now? Since he claimed that was the amount and he was very, very sure about it, he maintained his point that that was what was in the account. We can't argue with him. We don't have signatures. We are not signatures to that account. He is the sole signature to the other account, so we can't agree with him. We just have to just be it and look for money somewhere else. Chris, <sighs> Chris, you know how much I've contributed to the growth of that church. That's good. Thank you very much, Pastor. I uh, already made a payment of one hundred thousand, so I uh, have two hundred thousand naira check here with me that I would want to. Very good, very good. So how far with your travel arrangement? Well, I'm almost done. It's it's almost just on the corner. Like I'm ready. I'll be ready in a couple of days. How long will you be away for? Just two months. I wouldn't take more than two months. I should be done in two months. Two months. We well, are going to miss you. Uh, there's this uh, special Thanksgiving service the Lord has instructed me to organize. Oh, wow. uh, Oh, well, to be nice, I mean, I would want to be a part of it, even though I know I'm not going to be around, but I don't know, what's your plan for the event? This uh, spirit told me last Sunday of the month. Okay, so why last Sunday of the month? That's what the spirit told me. Well, um, the organization is going to be very, very strong. Uh, we're going to expect hundreds of people from different walks of life. Wow. Towards that, uh, my plan is that everybody who comes must be well fed, have good drinks, kill about two cows, make provisions for some bags of rice. In fact, Brother Patrick Owen has already pledged one cow. So we still have one cow to go. This is really going to be a big event. Yes. I can still make a transfer of uh, 100,000 naira to your account since I don't have my check book here. So if you can send me your or make me a transfer, I can make a transfer to No, transfer is okay. Okay. May the Lord bless you. Amen. For always having the heart to give. Amen. You will never lack. Amen. In fact, prosperity will chase you. Amen. You will be the son your parents are very proud of. Amen. I mean, seeing all these things, seeing, seeing my condition, I mean, even if it means borrowing me money from the trust account, I will pay it back, Chris. I deserve this. In as much as he has not traveled by this time, 
I think the best thing to do for him now is to discharge him and take him home. But doctor, we're still raising money. We have to complete the ones that we have so we can take him abroad, please. All hope is not lost yet, doctor. Well, trying to raise money at this stage is no longer necessary. See, Chris, I have to be sincere with you. The disease has spread to the two kidneys. Oh. And it has eaten deep to the kidney. So, there's nothing can be done at this moment. Oh my God. Doctor, there's something you can do. I know there's something you can do. I am very, very sure, Doctor, please. There's nothing medically I can do now to help him. <sighs> Honestly. Oh my God. This is such a heartbreaking breaking news. It's indeed a shocking news. And I feel it's better to let you know so that you can handle this with maturity. I'm so sorry. Doctor. Doctor, are you seeing this? Nothing you can do to save my brother's life. There's nothing I can do. Ah! I'm so sorry, Chris. <laughs> Sleeping as this medication change should take two in the morning and at night. And we should come back in two weeks' time for check up. I don't understand. I thought it was the one who said I should stay here until the travel plans are ready and need to tell you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <coughs> sorry, sorry. Well, if you take this, I'm sure. By the time that time is um, in two weeks' time, we'll come back. You'll be better than this. Okay? I mean, we should have asked him why the sudden change of arrangements. Why? I don't know, but I just believe that since we've not fully raised the money for the trip, it would be unwise for us to squander the money on hospital bills. Chris, are we own this guy? No, we are not. I've paid everything. So why? At least you should have asked him. At least let's know if probably you must have figured out that I'm late for the transplant, Chris. See, bro, I don't know. But from my point of view, I think it would be very, very unwise for us to stay here. You know how hospital bills are and what financial constraints at the moment. Okay? Let's go. But when the money is raised, we will come back. And I'm sure we will have we will see him then and you'll be fine. So please bro, we'll come back when the money is completed, eh? Just so things go on. Please, just get us some strength. Eh? Sorry, take it easy. Easy, eh? So, tell me, how do you go? No positive outcome yet. She said she alone cannot decide on the matter until when the board sits. And did she tell you when the board will sit to look into the matter? She did not say. She only said the board will sit. She did not give a date. Uh, don't you think it's um, pertinent for you to speak to some close staff in the bank so that and explain yourself to them so that when they meet, you know, they have a way to Speak in your favor or something. I have talked to a good number of them. But they all referred me to the manager. They said she is the only one that can play a major role when the board sits. Ah, see, it is right now. I mean, what's the next step for you to take? <sighs> I am totally confused. I don't know what to do. Though my auntie advised me to leave this office talk of a thing and go straight to her house and have a private talk with her. Yeah, she's right. She has a point there. I think it would be nice for you to go meet her in, the, in her home, you know? If you explain things to her, she'll actually show compassion and she'll listen to you, I think. It's a nice idea. Go ahead, visit her, pay her in the video, visit her, explain things to her. Should I go with a gift or what do you think? No. Uh, you basically don't need to go there with a gift. Because if you do, she might think you're trying to induce her or maybe bribe her into believing 
what you have to say. So just make it a harmless visit. Go there and talk things over with her. Believe you me this time, she'll believe she'll listen to you. It's okay. I'll go and see her in her house tomorrow. Just do that. Do just that. And I, I I'm seeing victory at the end of all this. And I believe when you're out of this, you learn your lessons and understand that you don't give what you don't have. It's okay. James, please, thank you very much. Honestly, when I left her office, I was so down. I mean, I was so confused. But meeting you, you've cheered me up already. Thank you for always being my friend, mm -hmm. for always being there for me. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. I mean, what are friends for? I was supposed to talk to two close friends of mine who are in pivotal position in um, two new generational banks, actually. But on a second thought, I decided not to for now till the board meets and you know, whatever they decide, that's what they prompt me to you know, talk to them regarding your employment and all of that. It's okay. Thank you very much already. I mean, You've when I'm out before. of this trouble, I promise I will never ever give out what I don't have. Already I've learned my lesson. Lessons learned. Okay. It's all right. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm glad you've learned your lessons, Anna. When you're out of this whole mess, you'll understand that in life, you don't give what you don't have. Thank you very much. You're always welcome. Everything will be ready to hide. But you must get me the heart of someone that died of bullet wound. This is incredible. The heart of someone that died of bullet wound? Yes. And that is the major ingredient for the job. Yes, it could deal it. At the time, there is no time. No wise man finds black gold at night. But with this be possible, even with this short period of notice, it will be possible, for nothing is impossible. It must be possible. Yosudini, we may go now and come back in the next two days. I believe by that time, we must have found what you are looking for. Do not worry. Sit down. I have made arrangements with a mortuary attendant. He will soon be here. Oh, yeah, he comes. Greetings, thank you. Greetings. Is that the item? Yes. Then bring it here. Oh, your money will be transferred. Go. I'll tell you how.
When you take this and go home, you will keep it for seven days. And whenever you want to go to operation, take two shots of it. No bullet can penetrate you. And no knife or machete can cut through your skin. You may rise up now. Rise up! Every morning. And take this. now but do not sleep with any woman tonight no take your shower go Shut the way. 
Um, I do not have any cheap for now, but I have two Toyota Camry and one Honda. That's it. End of discussion. All American spec, full option. I don't want any of those. I told you what I want is a range rover. That's it. All right. I, I'll try as much as possible to get them delivered to you. You get me a range rover, I'll give you a 70% deposit. You don't need to worry about that. Who doesn't know you? I know you very well. You are Pastor Douglas. I'm not skeptical about your payment. I know you will pay. Good. So get me the car. All right, my major concern now is to find a way to get the car delivered to you. That's your business. All right, uh, Pastor Douglas. Mine is the plane. Permission to leave. Let me go. Okay. All right. All right, All right thank you. Good day, Pastor. Very much. How are you? Sit down. You didn't tell me you wanted to see me. Yes, I, I forgot my open at home. So I did rush to get it. Where is it? It's here. How much is that? It's just 55. Oh. With this, the battle is over. Yeah. And with this, you have sown a seed. Amen. Yeah. And you shall reap bountifully. Amen. Your line will fall in pleasant places. Amen. You will lack no, no lack in your life. Amen. In Jesus' name. You're following me behind. I just came in not quite long. How are you? Please, come and sit, come and sit. Please. <clears throat> um, I am happy you came to know why I asked you to come. Sophia, I am still very much worried about your problem with the bank. But it is something I don't want to discuss over the phone. That was why I asked you to come. Auntie, to be frank with you, I didn't know it would come to this. <laughs> to me, I thought I was dreaming, but I just realized it's reality. I've lost my job. Jeez, they have sacked me. Sacked? How did they arrive at such a decision? I mean, what did the bank manager say? Or did you not discuss with the woman the way we agreed? I did. I talked with her in the office and I even followed her to her house. But she said her hands were tight. That she can't help. <sighs> Sophia, this matter has eventually led to your sacking. Yes, Auntie. I didn't know it would come to this, trust me. I, I, I begged them, I pleaded with them to give me a little more time, but she objected. I, I begged her to give me a little time so I can return the money. Now, Sophia, tell me, what did you do with such a huge amount of money? Because you've not told me what you did with two million naira. And see, there is no point keeping it as a secret anymore. I used it to pay tight. Jesus. And, and, and pledges I made in the church. Sophia, you used 
money that was not yours to pay tight and within pledges you made in your church. You allowed your pastor to deceive you into stealing money and paying tight in his church. Are you out of your mind? Auntie, I'm sorry. Honestly speaking, I didn't know it to come to this. You know I'm a giver. And I, I did it because it's a work of God. I did it for God. I, I didn't give it to any man. No, it was in the church. I, I'm sorry. Sophia, I didn't ask you not to give. But you don't give what you don't have. Now that you've given him the money, what is your plan? What do you intend doing? I've submitted applications in some other banks and I hope they will, they will call me, for, they will employ me. I'm sorry, Auntie, I'm sorry. Oh. I just pray that God will, will make them to call me. I, I didn't know. Honestly, I did not. Auntie, please forgive me. I'm sorry. It's okay. Please. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. How is your husband? Is he in? No, he's not back, but um, he should be on his way. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. Honestly, I didn't know it would come to this. Uh, Martin, how are you? Where are you? Yes, I'm still in the office. Yes, I'll see my office. Just come. Thank you very much. Uh, what was that you saying over the phone? You said you can't discuss it over the phone. Oh, you said that. Mike, there was a man I saw at Pastor Douglas' office after service. That man was the guy that snatched my car. Yes. Really? I saw him. I could recognize his face. You know, they were not wearing masks. No, you said so. He was a particular guy that pointed a gun at my face. Huh. Please, this pastor's friend you're talking about, please don't mention this to anybody. It's important. Just just keep this to yourself for the meantime. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? Please. Eh? Just just pretend. Just... Why 20,000? That should be enough. Do you have your own personal money to put in there? Sorry, sir. Get a drink. Many are called, few are chosen. Pastor Douglas. Many are called, few are chosen. Blesses you go for prayers. Be careful where you go for deliverance and time prophets. So, so, so. My son is God. Yes, yes, My yes. son is God. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. 
It's okay, it's okay. We received this news uh, with great shock. The whole church has been thrown into mourning. You know, it's quite unfortunate, but as mortals, we can't question God. He alone knows why things happen, when it happens, and how it happens. He has never called any of us to decide within when we live his death. I want you to understand that and to know that Brother Friday lived a Christ like life, <laughs> always willing to run errands for God, preach the good message, and I'm sure he is going to heaven. I'm very sure. So please take heart. And why you weep? Don't weep as a non believer. Weep because you believe there's a place he's going to. It's not about living 200 years, 100 years. But how well he lived, and he lived very well. <laughs> so, my daughter, how was your day? Daddy, everything is fine. I thank God. God be the glory. Amen. I, I must, I owe you some apologies. Um, it's been quite a hectic week. I promised you I was going to call the two bank managers, but um, unfortunately, my schedule has been so tight. But I'll still call them. Um, Daddy, actually, I came here to give you good news. Mm -hmm. Yes, there will be no need for that. You don't need to call anybody anymore. Um, Daddy, I've secured employment at Silver Bank. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I will resume work on Monday. Yes, so being my spiritual father, I said, let me inform you first. <laughs> let me share the good news. <laughs> Hallelujah, this is good news. Amen. This is good news. Yes, Daddy. Our God is good. All the time. This calls for celebration, you know? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and the Lord, it will take you from one realm to another realm to the highest realm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Daddy. I believed in God and He has done it. Yes. Thank you, Daddy. He will always do everything in good time, at His own time. Yes. So, um, I prophesy on your life today, you shall move from grace to grace. Amen. You have worked for the Lord and the Lord is paying you back. Yes. You have sown your seed in His house. Yes. So he only knows how to repay you. Yes, Congratulations, my daughter. Thank you. Daddy. Congrats. Thank you. Work. <laughs> All because of you. Oh, to the glory of God. <laughs> Amen. Yes, like I said before, we are still looking for a perfect um, date for the meeting. So as soon as we, we fix that out, I'll, I'll inform you. No, 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 I'll not forget. I'll keep you posted. All right, thank you. So, tell me, where did you get your information from? My dear brother, it was Rosemary that told me. She said she met with Chris in the market, that it was Chris that told her. Hold on, let me get this straight. You mean Rosemary told you that Chris told her that Brother Friday died due to lack of funds to, to fly him abroad for medical treatment. That was what Rosemary told me. She said Chris told her that our pastor, I mean Pastor Douglas, did not release the money. Our Pastor Douglas only gave them 600,000 Naira out of 3 million donated by the church for Brother Friday's treatments abroad. They confirmed it from the bank and they said it was 3 million naira. This is unbelievable. What did Pastor do with the balance of two, over 2 million naira? I mean, it's outrageous. Rosemary said that Chris said that the Pastor diverted the whole balance to his own account. Honestly, this is still hard to believe. Can this be true? I mean, 
Why would the pastor do that? Was the intention not to save life? That's exactly what I don't know for now, honestly. If he could do that, even when the family solicited for the help, if Brother Friday was not flown abroad, that means Pastor Douglas did not release the money for him to travel for his treatment. Um, um, Sophia, 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 we need to, to strike a balance. I mean, we need to find out the actual truth. You are closer to, to Pastor Douglas. So I'll need you to, to find out the truth. And let us know. Let us know how all this went about. Brother James, you know our pastor too well. He will never ever give a listening ear to this conversation. He will not. You know him too well. And I would dare not bring up this topic. You know very well he will not pay attention to this discussion. Uh, that is to say you are afraid to, to speak to the pastor about this. Because we need to know this whole thing. The church generally contributed this money for the hospital bills of Brother Friday. And it is in our place to find out and know how that money was used. I just felt there is no need for that. In as much as I know, he will not pay attention to it. So I just go straight to the point and tell him about my new employment with uh -huh. Silver Bank. That's all. Are you trying to say you are afraid to talk to Pastor Douglas about this issue? Just calm down. I am not afraid. But there is no point raising the issue. It's just for us to calm down and see the event unfold. Well, if you say so, no problem. If you say so, I mean, no problem. So tell me, how are you doing? With all these things happening, do you think I'm fine? I'm just hanging on there. When we had a food item shared, uh, this Tuesday, sir, we shared it after the decoration. Tuesday this week. Are you true? Yes, sir. Just worried that I am not at work with my colleagues. I'm sure they must have been done with the decorations by now, and I'm supposed to work with them. Is it not to complete the work? It is. But everyone is supposed to be present. <sighs> Don't bother now. Am I not the general overseer? Am I not the one who says what happens? Oh, well, the small walk, the small walk to finish what's running. Just wear a dress, let's go, let's go. Let's go, I have some meetings to Okay, okay. Fast, fast, fast. <clears throat> who did the sharing? I mean, who did, I mean, who got what, when and how? I did. So how come she got only Yam and uh, not oil. How come she was the only person who didn't get uh, plantain? So, this Tuesday, she didn't work with us. She didn't come to work, she didn't work with us at all. So, and this morning she came, she didn't come to me to ask why her plantain is not given to her. She went ahead to confront Rosemary. Started fighting. It was Rosemary that started the fight. She started it. Me? Yes! Amara, you are a liar! And everybody knows you are a liar. Pastor, when she confronted me about the plantain issue, I told her to ask them that he would explain to her better, but she refused and kept on blocking my way. I blocked you there. Who started the fight? You started the fight! I started it! You are lying! Always there! You are lying! Shut up! Shut up! Keep quiet! Shut up! Before me, you can display this. What would you do outside here? Don't you read your Bibles? You can't do this in the vineyard of God. 
When you read your Bible, you know about the story of Stephen. Even while they were stoning him, he kept on asking and pleading to God to forgive them. And their little plantain issue, you can't resolve. What kind of and manner of Christians are you? Let there be brotherly love amongst all of you. Is that clear? Yes, please. I still have some plantains. I'll give you from my own share. But let this not happen. You must all be repentant. I don't know what is the difference between you and those who are in the world. If you could display this before me, then you are an agro is better than you. We don't need an agro in the house of God. This is a place of peace. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Yes. Bravo. Thank you. Be careful the kind of places you go for prayers. Pastor, I am not happy with the way you treated this matter. That girl should have been suspended for at least two weeks. It has not gotten to that. The little quarrel should not warrant any suspension. Okay, it's going to be quite unfair. I agree. But she has to explain what she meant by the shameless whore she called me. Oh yes, she has to. Else I will not go out with you again. Listen, I don't overflog it. Hmm? I'm on top of the situation. Whatever happened is of no consequence. We should not uh, take it beyond this. I disagree with you, Pastor. You are taking this thing lightly while she goes out there tarnishing my image. Are you aware Rosemary is suspecting that I am having an affair with you? That's why she had the guts to call me a shameless whore. Nobody is suspecting anything. But I'll call her in, later in the day to ask her why she made such uh, remarks about her close friend. But for now, you shoot all sorts and let peace reign. I'll take care of it. Okay. Rosemary, you can't tell me it's just because of that little quarrel that made you pour such remarks on your friend. A sister in the Lord, for that matter. Pastor, it was just because of the quarrel, nothing more. She called me an idiot. And I didn't see the reason why I should be mindful of the name I called her in response. I mean, she, she, she first attacked me unjustly. And I then responded to what I did. Now tell me, do you think Sister Amara lives an immoral life? Just be sincere with me. Sister never said she was living an immoral life. I only responded to the abuse she shouted at me. So, it was just the abuse and nothing more. Exactly, sir. All right. Now go. No more fighting. There must be peace amongst you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And while the problem with you is that you doubt a lot. Rosemary told me that she abused you because your own insults at her and nothing more. When did she tell you this? I promised you I was going to summon her to ask her, and I did. Pastor, you know Rosemary is very crafty. You shouldn't have believed her simply because she said so. You should have insisted she tells you the truth. I insisted, and she told me, and I know when somebody's lying, I'm supposed to be truthful. And nobody suspects me anything. Are you sure? Quite sure. Just go uh, your mind at rest. Just hope so. Yes. Because I don't like scandal. No scandals. Nobody says what to me. Just go and do your work. Yes, sir. What are we doing this evening? Yes, sir. Papa, this is 500,000. 
I would like you to add it to the 200,000 mood I gave you yesterday. And that's going to be 700,000 in total. Keep it for me. When I need it, I will come back for it. This 500,000? Yes. You are sure? Add it to the 200,000 mood I gave you yesterday. When I, when I need it, I will come back for it. Okay. I will do that. You guys, I have pissed this for like three times now. I've surveyed everywhere. All the information we need be on my palm. So let's try it today. Today is the first day of the business week. I hope there will be enough money there. From all the information I have, all the sales they make during the weekend is still intact there. They only take the money by 3 p.m. to the bank. So by noon, we are striking. And before 3 p.m., we are done. How about the security? How many of them are using it? That one is not a problem. They only have one security man. And whatever he uses, is not our problem. I am going to disarm him on our arrival. Take him to the toilet, lock him up, and we carry out our work. Information is power. That means there will be no mess up. This operation will be a successful one. It is already a success, not even a success. We want to be. It's already a success, okay? Uh, Muda, go prepare our tools. Let's go. A robbery incident going on? At where? It's all right, please, I want you to be calm. I'm going to send my men down there immediately and be rest assured they will arrest the situation. Thank you. Yes, Inspector Steve, please, I want you to see me in my office immediately. Yes. Uh, come in. Yes, sir. Yeah, officer, how are you? Yes, sir. Inspector Steve. Yes, sir. I just received a distress call that robbery incident is taking place at Zeno Supermarket. They are looting their treasury. A big operation is going on there now. Do you know Zeno Supermarket? Yes, sir. It is located at number 5 Creek Road. Now, go down there with your men. Bring the criminals down to the station here, dead or alive. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Do that immediately. Yes, sir. You are free to go. How can criminals They will the Yeah, yeah. 
Someone who who fix any uh, any document and it will look as if it's real. All right. Just uh, what I want you to do now is to sit back and watch over him. I'm right? sure about this. Don't worry, I'll do that. Everything you've asked us to keep, we have kept them. We do keep them. All operations have been successful, except this last one. This is what happened. And when was this operation done? Two days ago. So other operations were successful? Yes, and nine. All other operations were successful, except this last one. We had even finished the operation. I was about leaving the place before the police attacked us. And two of their bullets Caught a wound on the right thigh, though we managed to escape. But no other one was hit by this bullet. Yes, it was only him. Agilera Bobale, Alwe de Meni Rodo, Anabala Gumba. Hey! Hey! 
The fish cannot drown in the river. Impossible. Onion and man. As the bullets been extracted from the thighs. Yes, nine. The two bullets has been extracted from his thigh. It's not recovering. <sighs> The gods have revealed to me what went wrong. And I shall take care of it. Is there any more thing you need us to do? This day? Nothing. Nothing. Leave the war for us. Go! Go! So I decided to switch off my phone and take a rest. Sorry. Sorry. But at least you should have let me know so that I can make adjustments to my schedule. I am so sorry, sir. The fever was too much that I did not remember to call anyone. All I needed was to rest. I am sorry I did not come to it from you. Please. Okay. How do you feel now? Still feeling feverish. But today is better than yesterday. Have you had any medications? No, sir. I don't think it requires medication. It will not be necessary for now. You are sick. You don't think it requires medication. So? Sir, I am... I am not exactly sick in the real sense. I'm just experiencing Symptoms of pregnancy. I have missed my period. You missed your period? Yes, sir. Am I responsible? Yes, you are. I have not known any man since we started dating. All right. Nothing to worry about. I'll soon need to go. Doctor, I'll give you a note right away. You go there right away. And you will attend to you. Your pepper tongue is okay. Check out everything, okay? Okay, sir. Um, it's for all your transport. For this, including your time, or that will attend to you personally. Everything will be alright. Okay? Nothing to worry about. I think I know Charles. He is the guy you introduced to me at your birthday party as your fiance, right? Yes, that's him. He proposed to me months before my birthday celebration. Wow. 
<laughs> Thank you. So, so the proposal has led to serious relationship. So he's making plans to come and see my parents to formalize the marriage plan. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Congratulations once again. Thank you. But is the pastor aware of this? No, not yet. I've not informed him yet. I think you need to quickly inform him and get his opinion. I'll do that, but I want Charles to meet with my parents first before the pastor. It will be pertinent for you to let the pastor know. Besides, since um, Charles is not a member of our church, I think it would be nice you let the pastor know. Um, but Charles is a devoted Christian, an active member of his church. Okay, so um, besides, it's not a crime, it's not a law for a girl to marry outside the church. Moreover, no, none of our members, I mean, no man in our church has ever proposed to me. So I see it's, I, I, there is no crime in getting married to a non-member who loves and showed interest in me. I'm not saying it's a crime. I mean, it's, it's not a crime. It's a personal decision for you to get married to whoever you choose to get married to. But I'm just saying this because it will be pivotal for you to inform a pastor as a spiritual father so that he can actually pray and intercede for you to get or for you to have a successful marriage. Okay? You're right, James. Thank you. I'll do just that. That's what I'm trying to say. I'll get him informed. Thank you. And being the, the spiritual father, he deserves to know the plans on ground. That is the exact point I've been trying to make since. So just do well to stop by and inform me. You have a smooth and each free marriage. I know what he can do. As long as he will not kick against the marriage. He will definitely pray for the success of the marriage. Definitely. He's not going to kick against the marriage. Just let him know. I mean, you are closer to him, so just let him know. And he will pray your way through to a successful marriage. <laughs> Many are called, you are choosing. Pastor Douglas. Many are called, you are choosing. Go and tell Pastor Michael that both of you are going with me to the side now. Let's see how far the engineer has gone. Okay, sir. And tell uh, Sophia to come in. Okay, sir. <laughs> Sophie, Sophie, how are you? Daddy, I'm fine. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Ah! You sounded so gent. What is it about? Um, Daddy, it's about someone who had earlier proposed to me. He's coming in to see my parents to formalize the marriage. So, you being my spiritual father, I said, let me come and inform you first because you have a very important role to play in my marriage. <laughs> I must say hallelujah. Thank you. Good news, good news. So who is this lucky guy? Oh, that his name is Charles. We work in the same bank. Charles? Is he a member of our church? Um, no, he's not a member of our church, but he's a true believer, a born-again Christian. He's very active in their own church. <laughs> yes, that's that it. is where the problem is. In our commission, the marriage between a member and a member is not allowed. It's not our rules. But Daddy, I'm hearing that from you for the first time, and you've not said anything pertaining to that before. That you're hearing it from me for the first time does not mean it's not there. No. Daddy, oh, my goodness, I am pregnant already for him. I'm carrying his child. You're really pregnant for him? Yes, Daddy. That is the more reason why that marriage cannot hold. Sex before marriage is not allowed or encouraged 
by our commission. No, he is never done anywhere. If your biological father was here and you told him you had already jumped into bed with a person who promised you marriage, you think he'll be happy? No, 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 no. You can't marry him. It's not allowed. Sophia, you didn't do well. I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't change anything here. Daddy, you can do something, please. What do you expect me to do? It's our rules here. I mean, if he was a member of our commission, we would have said that they uh, doing something about it, but it's not. Daddy, I love him. Well, it doesn't help out here. Well, I uh, was already on my way uh, to the site uh, to evaluate the volume of work done. So, what? Daddy, what about your pregnancy? Sophia didn't do well. Sex before marriage is not allowed. See, let's talk about it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it has no role to play. But I love you. I miss you for another day. The level of work at the new site. It's very wonderful and engineering competence put into the structures. The next after this will be the construction of a model school for undergraduates. Wow. Well, that would be great. Our church members will be impressed. Uh, then those who would want to send their children to the university would be glad to send them to the school. Exactly, Pastor Michael. I mean, there are lots of students in this country that would want to go to school, but due to the high tuition fees in Nigerian universities, they couldn't afford that. I think this will give them the opportunity to go to school after all. Both of you are wrong. My dream is not for the class you're talking about. I'm talking about the children of politicians, business moguls, those who will see what commensurate value we're bringing to them to be. 700,000 naira for an academic session. That's this, what I'm talking about. This is incredible. 700,000 naira? Yes. And that includes uh, administrative charges, tuition fees, uh, the cars, whatever. 
And all this put together will give them the kind of education they want. But, sir, don't you think this money is too much? Especially for our members who are interested in putting their children in the school. Mr. Michael, I'm not building the school for church members. I'm building it for those who always see the value and get in there. And derive those values will create for them what they want. You need to get that. Those who will pay 700,000 naira per academic section and see that they are deriving as much as what other contemporary institutions are charging. And that's what a business goes for. You should be happy about that. Um, I'm sorry, sir, but if this school is supposed to be owned and managed by the church, don't you think 700,000 is, is high? My point exactly. Hmm. <laughs> Thinking like a poor, but unfortunate. But for me, and my vision, it's not about the cost. It's about the values they derive from it. That's what should occupy your mind. All right? Get that? Yes, sir. Yes, Pastor. Pastor Michael, how do you see the the idea of pastor building school and the exorbitant price it puts? Mm. I think the idea of building the school is a good one. But what I don't subscribe to is the high amount of uh, school fees. It's on the high side. It's going to scare prospective uh, students away. Mm. Yeah, but you heard pastor say of the school is exclusively for the rich. I mean, if it's for the rich, that means the rich will be able to afford it. Uh -huh. We know, but you know, proper consideration should be done to parents who are church members. We all know how the funds and, and building projects, the money for building projects are being raised in our church. It's from these same people. These parents should be considered. I don't understand. How do you mean? See, the funds coming through tithes, offerings, and the seed from these same church members. And you don't want to consider them when you're building school and raising the school fees. That's true. That's true. But what I don't understand is why Pastor will choose to do his own school like others. I mean, <laughs> we all know he's competing with other people. He wants, to, wants his school to be like that of Zion Gate and the rest of them who pay 680,000 naira for school fees. Oh, this, this our church members should be considered too. At least let them pay, if they can pay something like uh, the, you know, the federal universities pay. Come mm -hmm. on, we should consider them. Okay. No, if you are asked to advice or, or judge uh, Pastor Douglas, what would you say concerning the high amount of fees? Well, I, I, I think if, 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 if he, unless his vision is works in, unless his vision works in tandem with uh, what, what he's doing, you are right. You are right. Are you sure? Are you, are you with me on this? I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you, Pastor Michael, you are right. So he explained everything to him and he still didn't give his consent? I mean, he's strongly opposed to the plan and arrangement of my marriage on the ground that Charles is not a member of our church. Just that? Just that. Or did he give other reasons? No other reasons. He only said it's against the rule of our church for a young lady to get married outside the church. But, but, even when I told him, I mean, even when I told him that I am pregnant for Charles, he insisted that he will not give his consent to my marriage. For, for God's sake, that's not enough reason for him not to give his consent. Considering the fact that you are carrying his child. 
I mean, oh, is there something else he's not telling us? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think he's interested in you. How can he be interested in me when he has his wife and his girlfriend is always with him? Hold on. Did you say girlfriend? You mean a pastor has a girlfriend? But you're supposed to know he has. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know any girlfriend anywhere that is linked with a pastor. Amara is his girlfriend. Amara. You mean Amara is personal assistant? Yes. Hey, Honda shall never hear. Um, they are even into serious relationship, which people suspect may lead to marriage. Marriage? But the pastor's wife is currently undergoing theological training in the Bible college. Story. Is he supposed to marry Amara's a second wife or what? I don't know, but we that are close to him shares the same view. But, but that kind of life is improper for a mind of God or man of God of his caliber. That is to say he lives the life he preaches against. I mean, that's why I will not accept his advice of me getting married to Charles until I have spoken to my auntie for her opinion. But besides, you got married to a non-member. <laughs> you forgotten I joined the church after immediately I got married. Oh. Yes, immediately oh. after my marriage. It's okay. I will now go and get married. Then I will now rejoin the church all over again. <laughs> I mean, you no, know, if that's where we are. Oh. Right now, I, don't, oh. I don't know what to say. You shouldn't have allowed him to advise you on your marriage. A true man of God at this stage will not advise you not to marry a young man whom himself is a devoted Christian, all because he doesn't worship with his church. But I see that is only area of his resentment. He, he, he frowned at him because he's not a member of his church. I mean our church. Must everybody be a member of his church? If he doesn't want to worship in his church, so be it. Charles is not a small boy. He knows what is best for him. So, Auntie, what should I do now? You go ahead and marry the man you love. After all, when you had problem with your former employer, what did he do to help? He didn't do anything, no. He only gave me empty promises. There you are, Sophia. See, let me tell you. He only cares about the money you give to the church. He does not care about your welfare. So, since the young man is ready to marry you, you go ahead and marry him. Okay, Auntie. Mm -hmm. I will do just that. I will go ahead and do the right thing. Thank you very much. I really appreciate all your advice. Thank you, Auntie. Thank you. you are indeed a good woman. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if I am to advise you, stop worshipping with him before he lured you into something that will tarnish your image in future. Yes. I said I shouldn't be going to that church again. Don't go again. Don't. Why? Don't go. It's okay. I will not go to that church again. Never and ever, we we'll never go there again. Don't. It's okay. So, how is Rita? Have you heard from her of recent? Yes, I spoke with her on Tuesday. How um, is she? She said she had malaria, but um, she had treated it and she's very much okay now. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I lost her contact. Please, can you give it to me again? Yeah, yeah. Let me give you. Okay, I will get it before I go there. Okay. <laughs> Auntie, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, let me get you something to drink. And time prophets. And time ministers. And time prophets. That is what we are. And time prophets. And time ministers. You're only person. 
I trust amongst all your boys to do direct business with. I know you will never feel free to strike any deal with them. I know. So, I wanted to take it very seriously. I trust you, that's how I do with you. Somebody has been threatening me, and I think it's the kind of thing you want to take care of. Why is he threatening you? Why is he demanding for me from you? Well, the deceased boy uh, gave me a loan of about 10 million naira, I think. And then I've paid the loan. But he keeps on coming back to ask for more. Is he right? Why would he be coming back to ask you for more? Huh? Because he thinks maybe I'm a very trending pastor, I have all the money and so on. And I think it's gotten to something we should take care of because it's no longer funny. So you know very well that the only thin line between your mind and my actions is just your wish. Speed it out. And it becomes a living action. All right. You come back here tomorrow, 2 p.m. for execution and I'll give you all the detail. Working for you is always my pleasure. Sir. All right. 2 p.m. tomorrow then. I'll be here by 2 p.m. Many a cause you are choosing, Pastor It's trending. <laughs> so you know there is no failure with Kato. I know. Kato is success all the time. Man. Anyway, before we could get to his house, he had really left the office. But I and my boys took a U-turn, gave him a hot chase, caught him in front of his office, and executed him. Beautiful. I hope none of the other boys knows about this. They dare not even ask me. They dare not. <laughs> Come on, sit down. I got cash for you. Oh, I would even prefer that. Cash? I would even prefer that. One million naira. <laughs> Bastard dog last, sir. I walk in the physical. I also walk in the spiritual. <laughs> the only man with the metaphysical eyes. Sir. <laughs> received the news of his death in total surprise. I mean, I've been in shock ever since. I mean, it's hard to believe that Mr. Raymond who was here on Wednesday, looking hell and hearty, is now dead. Honestly speaking, I still cannot place him. Is he a member of our church? No, 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 he's not a member of our church. He's, he's a prosperous and a very influential businessman and a friend. He, he was here some time ago. He brought um, some Turkish shirts for me. And I, you were here. You were seated right in this position and he was here. He brought those Turkish shirts when he got back from a business trip abroad. Oh, I remember. 
remember this man. He's about average height and dark complexion. Yes, that's the same man I'm talking about. Oh, no. Hi! Kai! I remember him. He came here with a leather bag. He, he dropped like about four to five shirts on these decks. Then he already left. He said he wants to see someone that he's coming back. Exactly. Though he didn't return before I left. That's the same man that is lying lifelessly in the mortuary. Oh my goodness. Huh? What happened to him? I, I, I basically don't know, but, but there's something he was trying to tell me. And I was suspecting a man. But, and I told him not to worry that I would intervene. I told him I was going to step in and handle the situation only for him to, to be assassinated by some unknown gunman yesterday. Kai, what a wicked world. What is this world turning into? What, what kind of senseless assassination is that? I don't know. Who did he offend? that chose to terminate his life and cause problems for his family. I don't know. He, he, he was trying to tell me of a certain man who threatened him. And, and I was, as you know, due to her closeness, I begged him not to, to, I begged him to hold on. I even pleaded with him not to tell his wife that I was going to intervene, step in and, and, and look into the situation. Only for this to happen. Someone threatened his life? Yes. Someone threatened his life and I, 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 I'm suspecting it's someone I know. Who could that be? I'm suspecting it's Pastor Douglas. Pastor Douglas? Oh, please, do not tell this to anyone. I beg of you. We need to hold on and let the police come up with their investigation. What did he do to him? According to him, he said he went today to ask for a, a repayment of a 20 million naira loan. He, he took from him. What? Only for, for, for the pastor to threaten him and ask him to leave his office and never to come back to ask for that loan. That then whenever he has the money, he, he will pay. Pastor now, Douglas. <sighs> Pastor Douglas must be held responsible. I mean, my auntie have already advised me to leave the church. I am no longer a member of his church anymore. I do not worship there again. Like I told you, my auntie advised me to leave the church. So I will advise you to, to leave the church so that he will not put you in trouble. My dear, you are right, Sophia, you are right. I think I'll, I'll have to, I'll have to consider this your opinion. I'll have to, I'll have to. Pastor Douglas is wicked. He's a murderer. You should know that by now. I can't understand what is going on in this country. Assassinations, kidnappings, criminalities everywhere. Huh? Such an amiable young man. I was shocked when I heard he was killed. What, why would anybody harm him? What has uh, the police come up with yet? They told us yesterday that the investigation was still ongoing and that um, his case is that of a hired assassin, likely do. And then they said they are not going to do any statement until the investigation is unconcluded. Let's see, what's Let's see what happens. But I assure you, I will leave no stone unturned to make sure I follow up with the police so that they will not sweep this under the carpet. Those killers must be fished out and brought to justice. Thank you very much. Fortunately, I'm seeing the Commissioner of Police tomorrow. I will uh, make sure that uh, I make him handle it personally. Uh, and uh, before the burial, I will send it, my little token of one million naira to help you in the planning and so on. Thank you very much, Pastor. I appreciate oh, it. It depends me. It depends me. It depends me. Um, 
Don't please keep me updated about every line of action from now, please. Definitely, I will. I will do that. Please, I have to run around. I want to pick my children from school. Please, they are already right. waiting. Thank you. All right. Please Thank keep you very in touch. Much. My really sympathy, my condolences, please. Thank you. My condolences. I appreciate your efforts. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Mm. So we have a trailer load of cement and a load load of cement and crematory. I'm here to inform you to know if you're interested in buying them. I have no interest in this Molina and Grana oil. You can go to the marketplace and sell it to some traders. The cement. Yes. All right. You will have it. Okay. Where is the cement? Um, the trailers are still somewhere in the bush. I have paid some drivers to help me drop them at our house so that it can be offloaded there. What about the drivers of the truck and lorry? Those were sad. What happened to them? They were proving stubborn at our cost of carrying out our duties. So we had no option. No. That's not a good way to settle such issues that will complicate matters. But their resistance was just too much and they left us with no option due to your stubbornness that to send them to the great beyond. So what is the price of cement? Um, we have like 600 bucks in the tree life and in the present the cement cost is about 4,000 naira. but we're going to be giving you at 2,000 dollars. The total money you're going to be giving us is going to be 1.2 million naira. I'll pay 1,800 per bag for the 600. It's a deal. Tell me. All right. Let's try to get you. Let's make it a deal. Deal? Yeah. Deal, let's go. Okay. I'll send my driver tomorrow 10 a.m. to pick it up. Is that okay? All right. Tell him to call me 10 a.m. Should have said it now. Make it look like it's a big deal. Okay. I'll give you twenty thousand more before the end of work. Shocking news I received this morning from a very reliable source. Sophia has gone ahead to wait Charles, despite my advice and my warnings. And she waited 
him in his church. God. That's disrespectful. This is total disrespect and embarrassment to the church. How could she be so thoughtless? That tells you how some people are. They never value friendship. Desperate to achieve in their own selfish aims and ambition. Sir, she would regret this. I, I, I don't think we should bother ourselves about Sophia's exit. I suggest we should just forget her and move on. Moreover, her exit has to do with the issues pertaining to marriage. I know you will support her. Pastor Michael, I know you will support her. You can't wait to see the fall of this church and then you go and join Sophia wherever she is. That's not true. That's not true is what? You think we don't know that you sleep in her house and you sleep with her? Oh my God. Leave God out of it. Sir, this is blackmail. Who is blackmailing you? Me. Sir, I can swear nothing has such happened. I, I can't see myself indulge in something I preach against. Then you better... Okay, why are you not supporting her in whatever action she takes? Tell me. Sir, I clearly stated reasons why she did what she did. I, I wish you just let it be. Uh, you don't see anything wrong in her leaving the church all for the sake of marriage? Sir, as we all know, a woman doesn't have a permanent church until she gets married. Oh, please tell that to the Marines. Who tells you that? Huh? Pastor Michael, you are suspect. My eyes are on you. This is our nonsense. Who does that? You have come 30 minutes earlier. I was still in the office. I have the feeling that's why I came by this time. So what about the police? Sir, the police is investigating the death of Mr. Reward. I got this from a very reliable source. The last number. So what did you expect them to do? Crush their hands and behave as if nothing happened? Of course they have to do like they are working. Sir. Are you sure that we are safe? Of course we are safe. The new commissioner of police is my worry. Yes, I learned that he's a tough guy. He doesn't compromise when dealing with matters. <laughs> Shouldn't be your worry. To be tough. It's good. To have an uncompromising stance. That's good. We'll find a way to work around it. And a way out of it. Right? I mean, there's this thing that happens in our country when somebody's invited or in, appointed to a new office. He tries to do like they say, show himself and prove his stuff. And after that, two, three weeks, one month, the fighting's down. So, what about the other deal? We're still on. Uh, I will inform you as soon as we get things worked out. I'm in charge, spiritually and physically. <laughs> Brother Martin, I've told you, relax. Put your mind at rest. The devil has no power over you. The Bible tells us we are more than conquerors. Oh, amen, sir. So I should not bother about any of these evil plans, especially the way things are going. Presently. Not at all. Not at all. It's part of God's plans. And very soon, he will make his blessings manifest in your life. Amen. In fact, it has already started with the bank granting you loan. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Amen. Uh, the bank manager called me that I should come around by Sunday, I mean Monday, and sign some documents so that my account will be credited. That's it. That's a lot working. Yes, and immediately your account is credited. You bring your seed here, we provide, and the Lord will multiply and increase manifoldly whatever 
he, he has a plan for you. Amen. I will do that. Uh, sir. Some of you don't understand how it works. The Lord naturally puts some hurdles in your way. Because if you get things seamlessly, you will not appreciate God. Amen. But when you jump over one or two things that troubles your mind, you begin to know there's a God in the affairs of men. You are the oracle. <laughs> I'm already working on it, sir. <laughs> That's good. I am so indeed a man so of wisdom. Put your mind at rest. Yes, your right. Just just start making your plans how to invest your money. That's all. Yes, I'm already working on it. That's sir. it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Oracle. I already made myself clear. I'm done with the church. I'm done with Pastor Douglas. On my way, I'll pass through the office and drop the keys. Come on. I found myself doing what is not in my cordon. Um, you know, Pastor Michael, I, I still believe that if you talk to him, he will listen to you and make amendments. We can, we can go and miss him and talk to him. You talk as if you don't know Pastor Douglas. Your opinion or any other person's opinion does not matter. You were there when he accused me of, of having an affair with Sophia. He took offense and accused me of sleeping with Sophia. You, you were a witness. Um, you see, Pastor Michael, that... I don't even understand. I mean, why would he totally object to Sophia's marriage? You and I know why. Sophia is one of the great financiers of the church. And he wouldn't want to let her go. Come on, a true man of God will not do that. You see, eh? Pastor Douglas is a man of God. He is. He preaches the word of God, he is spirit-filled. I mean, when he talks, people listen. But I, I don't understand why he's so attached to worldly things. <laughs> this is a man who values earthly things more than heavenly gifts. That's it. See, I think my taxi is here. I should be on my way. Oh, so um, which of the two churches are you attending? <laughs> I don't know for now. But I would uh, pray and ask God for directions. Mm -hmm. If I find out, I'll give you a call. That's okay. Let me help you with your okay. Oh, sorry. Very important. Yeah. My week. Exactly. Ah, what, Pastor Benson, your phone. Oh, thank you. Mark. Yes. Thank you. If you also want. They are the ones who lose out, not me. Well, um, sir, I don't think he will do that. Okay, I have watched and I've studied both of them closely for some time now. And I found out that Pastor Benson actually listens to you more than Michael does. So he will, he will come as he has promised. Just give him some time. If he wants to come, let him come. Pastor Michael cannot be dictating to me. This is my church, my ministry. I had already finished with pastoral training when I was in secondary school. I was established as a minister. Before then, he cannot be dictating to me. That's a win of fact, son. And I'm sure even he himself knows he's a new member in the ministry. Hello? All right, 
I'm still in the house. You see? I've told you he will come. Well, one thing I have done, which I know very well, is that I've always given advice that people can reap fruits from. And because you listen to me, that's why you're able to buy a car. Yeah, you can say that again, sir. It's true. You know, I took that advice and it transformed my life. And I'll forever cherish that encounter that changed my life and gave it a meaning. Whoever thought that? I would be driving this brand new Benz today. I will talk to you, sir. Whatever it is, um, let's see what we'll come up with. I mean, he should organize himself. And uh, we'll continue. Depending when my wife finishes with her pastoral training. And then we can get the other things going. But for now, he needs to be cool-headed. Yeah. So I'll feed you back uh, on the update uh, after the meeting this evening. Go ahead. Be careful where you go For deliverance And time prophets And time ministers I know it's not going to be easy. But I'm very hopeful that when my wife finishes with her pastoral training, and then we can achieve whatever we have set out to achieve. That's it. I believe so, sir. But I'm thinking, if she's not joining us anytime soon, there is need to replace somebody as soon as possible. I mean, if you can talk to him to come back, it's still very, very important. I can't bring him back. Not. I'm already looking for a replacement. And if I can't find anybody I can trust, then I'll have no other choice than to wait for my wife to finish. Six months or less, she's done with her pastoral training. She can join us. Sorry, um, I haven't offered you a drink. No problem, Sam. I'm okay. I'm fine. All right. Very good. I want you to do me a favor. Stop every means of communicating with Pastor Michael. He's a distraction. He cannot be trusted. I have worked with him over the years. I know him better than you do. I don't want him misleading you. He cannot mislead me, sir. He cannot. And one more thing. I will make you comfortable beyond your expectations if you don't disappoint me. Go and ask Pastor Benjamin how and when we met and where I took him to. All he owns in life today, courtesy of me. And I'm still doing things for him. In fact, he was in my house this morning to express his gratitude. Same for you, if you don't disappoint. I will not disappoint you, sir. I will not. I will keep trying my best. Okay. Come let me say what a prayer for you. How could you have left the church so ingloriously without informing anybody? I don't understand, sir. What don't you understand? If there are issues, we can resolve it as brothers or friends. You can't just live like that. Sir, what issues are you talking about? You, you talk as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Eh? You just live like that. Do, you can't do that. Sir, I told you clearly. I left when I had to leave. I, I'm done with the church. I can't serve the church anymore. You can't be done with the church. There are things we have to do. Unfinished business. Please, if you don't mind. I'm, I'm already late to church. Please. Michael. Sir. I am not here for sir. a joke. Sir, please. Please, eh? please don't shoot. Don't shoot, sir. Don't shoot, sir. Please. 
Sir, don't shoot! Don't shoot! You don't know shoot. me very don't well. Shoot. I am don't not shoot, a gentleman don't, man don't of shoot, God. Sir. I will not serve mammon of you, Pastor Douglas. I break out from every shackles of Pastor Douglas. And as I break myself out, O oh Lord, I break out every member of our church who is under his bondage, who is under the bondage of mammon. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, the Bible said, O oh Lord, that the weapon of our warfare is not carnal, O oh Lord, but it's mighty in pulling down strongholds, O oh Lord. Father, I put on the whole armor of God and I pray, O oh Lord, I march. Mike, honestly speaking, it's a regrettable experience. It's like jumping from frying pan to fire. Just, just take a look at it. Take a view of it. I had never experienced any breakthrough. I've not even achieved anything, not even one. Honestly, I've been giving without any return. Hmm. Well, you can't say the same for me. You can attest to that. My businesses, my all business, they're all doing very well. But I don't understand why I am having this same feeling as you do. You know, there's this deep feeling I'm having, like to leave the church. Is because you are worshipping at the wrong place. Yes. Just look, take a look at it. You know that's why you were worshipping before he asked me to join you. Mm -hmm. That pastor loves money more than the worshippers who have been. Hmm. Hmm. You're right. Uh, even his sermons these days has only been centered on so, uh, seed sowing, uh, donation to the church. Hmm. All this blah blah blah, everything all about money. In fact, he has he doesn't he doesn't like talking about uh, uh, salvation. Eh? You're right. What else can we say? Eh? Honestly speaking, if I had known, I would have joined Roland in leaving the church earlier enough when he left. He's doing well in his business. Yes, he's doing well. Uh, uh, uh. I think I just need to, it's either I go back to my former church or I sit at home to think about my life. Uh, no, 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 no. If it's to join another church, that is better. But since now, no, 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 no. I think the, the best thing I'm going to do is, you know, look around this new generation of churches and maybe what should be one of them this Sunday and try out that place. I again. am sick and tired of trial, please. <laughs> the best option is now. for me to sit at home and think of my next step. <laughs> Sincerely we speaking, could, try. no. I, do, do you know what I, I, I passed through? All these years have just become wasted years, filled with sad experiences. Start a thousand naira. I want you to go ahead and do it. And when you're done, call me. I'll come and pick you up. Pastor, keep the money. I will not do it. I don't want to take that kind of risk again. This is not what we agreed on yesterday. Huh? I only told you I would think about it. I have given it a careful consideration and have resolved that I will not. What do you call careful consideration? Pastor, I am tired of aborting babies. 
I have done it three times without complaining. But this time around, I do not feel safe about it. I might die in the process. I can't. Grandma, please, you must do this one. Do this particular one, you must. But I will not do it. I am tired of aborting babies. Besides, I'm old enough to have a baby. Baby? Yes. For who? For you, of course. Or are you afraid of taking responsibilities for my pregnancy when you sleep with me whenever you want to? You even shun the use of protection when I insist. Ah, that's I will not do it. Mama, I will not Mama, this Mama, calm down, calm down, calm down. Look, I will compensate you very well. But I promise you, it will not happen again. <laughs> Pastor, Pastor. Is this not the same thing you said last time? And here you are saying it again. Besides, you are only interested in me aborting the baby without considering the risk involved. Do you even consider the fact that I might lose my life in the process? Don't you have conscience? I will not do it, period. It's not just the last time. Okay, I will, I will increase it to 50,000 there and then do some other things for you. This won't matter. Just do this last one, this last one. This man has ruined my life. I don't think God will ever forgive me. God, God please, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I know I have sinned against you in so many ways. He will forgive you for he is a merciful God. Now that you've made the right choice, you begin to see the difference. My dear, that place is a slave camp. You will never know it until you've left there. Exactly. I did not notice it on time, and that is my biggest regret. I had already made those mistakes before I found out the truth. Do not let your past mistakes interfere in your new life. I was once a victim, but God intervened with the help of my auntie. Otherwise, my marriage with Charles wouldn't have been celebrated. You're really a lucky babe. That is why God sent your auntie to intervene at that point in time. Of course, I know I am. I've always been lucky. My dear, I am happy that you're no more there. We knew about your affair with Pastor Douglas. Oh, yes. But no one will dare say it then. You. Oh, I am finished. This man misled and, and destroyed my image, honestly. How can I ever come out of this shame and disgrace? Hey! Mm. The Lord is your strength. You are out of it already. Oh. Yes, I'm sure. You see, Pastor Douglas is one of the end time prophets which the Bible says will appear and deceive as many people as he can. He's just carrying out his assignment. But don't worry, you're free. You're free now. So how is his wife? Has she finished her training and joined him? She finished and joined him, but they separated soon afterwards. Though the, the good thing is that his son, who was jailed for over 10 years in America for drug offense, has been released. He will soon be back in the country. That's a good news. I, I didn't know about this. I thank God he's a free man now. Mm -hmm. But was he jailed for drug offense? Yes. Rex was jailed for drug offense. That is why the pastor was never proud to talk about him. Hmm. 
thank God you're free from means enslavement. Amen. Honestly. Amen. But what really brought about the separation between him and his wife? I heard they had a serious quarrel and the wife said she could no longer continue with the marriage and left. It's a long story. I have my own problems. I don't even want to go into the details. So that was how they separated? Just like that. The marriage crashed, ended, everything. I thank God for your life, my dear. Amen. Don't worry. God will definitely take you to where you were destined to be. By the time you start worshipping with us in our church from tomorrow, mm. you begin to see the difference in you. Trust me. Are you sure your church is better? Trust me when I say you see the difference. So, sir, how was your journey? Well, it was very smooth. The event went very well. Finished early part of this morning and I'm here. So how was uh, the attendance in church today? So it was very poor. We had like 21 members in attendance. 21 members? Yes. Jesus. What could have led to that? My absence or what? Honestly, I don't really know. But I think it may not be unconnected with that Pastor Michael's new church. Most of our members are now attending that church. So. So, um, do you have names of these members who have? Um, I, I can't really say, but I have some names. People like Patrick Owen, uh, Barbara Chooks, Nicholas Bond. Nicholas Bond? Yes, sir. The bank manager? Yes, sir. So, Pastor Michael, has carried out this is threat of destabilizing my church. Go on, go on, I'm listening. Okay, go get you all cool. Um, Michael Paleke. The MD of Macro Gas? Exactly, sir. Jesus. Jesus. So, what do you think we can do to arrest this situation? I don't know. I don't know honestly. I'm confused. Go and tell all the workers that we need to have an urgent meeting immediately. That's another problem, sir, because none of them attended services. I didn't see any of them. Have they all left? I can't really see. Jesus, 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 who done that? Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. I I really did not come to church this morning, and I have my reasons. I can only speak for myself. I don't know about. Okay. Where are you right now? I'm at home. But about heading out for evening service. In fact, I'm dressed. I'm stepping out now. I am very sorry, sir. I I don't want to be worshipping in your church anymore. Why? I have made up my mind. What is the problem? I have fully realized I have not been doing the right thing all this while I have been with you. But I thank the Almighty God who has opened my eyes and I have realized my mistakes. So I have decided to live my life for God. 
and him alone. Goodbye, sir. December last year, exactly on the 10th of December. You've just made a mistake, a very big mistake. I gave you instructions that you should be giving sacrifice at the end of February every year. I totally forgot. I forgot. Let me go and put things together and come back. That will not be necessary. For he has departed to the great beyond from whence he came. Okay, let's put that aside. What about the exodus of my members from the church? All the members are leaving me. Courtesy of this stupid Pastor Michael. What do I do? have to give you something and all your members will come back even the new ones will join look it's not just about this pastor michael that took him away what will it cost me to deal with him even if it means him dying he will suffer he will suffer don't worry just go and come back on Friday. Friday this week? Yes, this week. What about the workers in my church who all left? They will all come back. When I finish the charm and give it to you, then all of them will come back and everything will be okay. operation was not a success. This time around there is a report that there are criminals 
terrorizing the estate gate as I talk to you. Zojem Estate. You know the place? Yes, sir. Move down there with your men immediately. This time, I expect a positive report. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. You may go. and forest, I salute you. I greet you, the great queen of the river and forest. The queen ruling the river and the forest, Kato is here. Who is this lone lion that strayed across the pride line? Are you not afraid? Or you want to devour by the jackass? Truly the great queen, I am a lone lion in this jungle who has no company. But I'm not afraid of the hyena, nor the jackals, nor the wolves, because I know that none of them can harm me without your consent. I know. No beast of this forest can touch you without my consent. No, they cannot. I can see the bitterness in your heart. You are wandering like a hen that locks all her cheeks to the hawk. What is the matter? The great queen, my heart is bitter. Yes, my heart is bitter because I lost all my men in a battle due to the betrayal Ezude gave us. I want to avenge their death. Avenge their blood? Young man, you want to fight a battle that can swallow your life up? The great queen, I know 
that there is no monster that is as more dangerous than you are. Yes, I know. And I know that there is no river, no matter how deep it is, that you cannot swim. I know I can swim this river successfully if it so pleases you to help me. No monster in this kingdom can stop me. I am the queen. And I will do and do. You are truly betrayed and it was unjust. That is why you are bitter and you want to avenge the blood of this young man. Yes, the great queen. I was truly betrayed. Yes, and I want to avenge their death because my heart will not be at peace if I do not avenge their blood. Yes, my heart will not rest until I avenge their blood, the great queen. Let me have your weapon of vengeance. No, not this one. You must come back tomorrow before noon and take it. It will perform beyond ordinary, but not for more than one assignment. You must discard it after the successful execution of the assignment. Go! I must discard the weapon, Greek Queen? Yes. Go! I will do as you have said. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Kristen, um, are you going down the road? Yes. Yes, can I join you? Okay, coming. Uh, why is the car not starting? It's time you read what you saw. What do you mean by that? Which way leads to the express? Friday! Please, don't shoot. 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 Don't shoot.
my son. You are looking for me. The vultures of the nice spirit devour that you what you use all over this one. You liar. You deceived us. You did not tell us the truth, you evil man. What truth are you talking about? You gave us a fake anti bullet penetration charm, Udeshi. You cost the life of my men. You cost the life of my guys. No! I know what I did. Something must have gone wrong. Nothing went wrong. Nothing went wrong, you evil man. We kept all your instructions to the latter, yet you deceived us. But today, you are going to pay for the lives of my men. Bring down the gun, my son. Let me go inside and know what went wrong. I know something went wrong. So, let me go inside and know what went wrong. Drop your gun. One more step from you. You are a dead mate. Bring down your gun, my son. I have not even come here. Bring what down I your gun. Let me go inside. <laughs> The dust! Collect the dust and put it in the muzzle of the gun! I have no more words for you. For my words lie in the muzzle of my bulldog. No, no, no. You're full of deceiver. No, right? <gasps> Jesus, today will also mark your end because Kato will give you dress. No, 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 don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Whatever it is, we can resolve it. <gasps> yeah, my friend. Why what are, are you, you begging for? Why would you shoot me? <laughs> please, please. Are you begging for the lives that you've taken? Huh? Are you begging for deceiving people all this while? Have you, are you, are you begging? For stealing people's goods and properties? Please, huh? Forgive me, it was the devil, it was the you devil. You know you're a fake bastard. Yes, I am. You deceive people? Yeah, I am. You kill them? Yes, please, don't for, just for, forgive me. Today, you will go there and ask for this forgiveness. <laughs> My loyal bulldog, thank you. Thank you for your successful completion of assignment. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm going to send you on a journey of no return. I'm sorry I'm going to send you 
into the bottom of Ezu River according to the instruction of the witch woman. I'm sorry. Anybody that has a hand in your death will surely pay with their lives. I'm not going to rest until I avenge your death. I don't have any money. But just give me tomorrow. I must provide the money tomorrow on felony. I promise you this. Oh, I beg you, with the name of whatsoever you hold sacred, go get me my money. I do not have time. Please. Kato, please understand me. I said right now I don't have the money. Believe me one more time. Tomorrow, I will give you the money. Just believe me. You are very, very stupid. And I'm telling you that the police are trolling me and that you don't even have time to spend in this country and you're telling me this. Papa! Can't you try to understand me? Papa, try to understand you me. You know me very well that I am a man of zero tolerance when it has to do with things of urgent matters. This money is of urgent matter. Where's my money?
Hold it there. Show somebody over there. Okay. Get out, go. My friend, go on your knees. No sense. Take him. Move it. Let's go. Take him, let's go. Move it. Move it. Your days of terrors are over. Move it. Hey, move it. Get inside. Move it. Move it. Pull him very well. Hello, sir. This is you, sir. The suspect's cattle has been arrested. Yes, sir. Sir, we need an ambulance. It's just shot a man dead. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Just, sir. No matter how fast you think 